That was not a close that the bulls were looking for at all. Closing uh, 314.50 is pretty weak right now, weak volume. This should continue to trail back down like we've been talking about. 310.50 will be the first test. I'll let in a 305 and 303. What I would expect to see really strong support at 303 to 305 if we do flush down there. You make it a little fake up move, fake out, fake upward move here up to like 316 to 318. It should fail though. Just took a, another look at the charts. I really, really like the case for 303 to 305, maybe you know 304. That zone, we should start to see some activity. We should see support if we continue to flush down here and we continue to trail off and have a lot of sellers. That area should have some buyers. All right, there you have it. I fast forwarded a little bit. I stopped uh, recording for a second. And you can see we breached 31050. We didn't get a strong reaction off that either. So again, the destination still looks like 305 down to 303, somewhere in that zone. But we need a little more um, volume here. We need some kind of catalyst. Maybe when they start the call or another headline comes out and we get a flush first and then a bounce. 448 now. Maybe we'll see some activity around 5 Eastern, maybe 510 Eastern. Here it goes. Looks like it's about to fail again. At 31090, looks like it's ready to fail. Yep, 310. There we go. It should start to speed up. Maybe the next candle, hopefully, we'll see it speed up and uh, flush into the zone that we're looking for. This one requires a lot of patience right now. The good news is I know I don't want to jump in. Like I, have no, I don't have any FOMO here. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I mean, of course, you could have shorted this, I guess. I haven't even checked if, you, if I could even short it and think or swim. But I'd rather wait. Yep, and that's a really bad close. I don't think that's all she wrote. I think it's still going lower. So again, we're just creeping down lower into that zone. 309.25, but they lose that. There we go, we lost it. Chances are it's going to start picking up speed, momentum, and volume. There we go, there goes a, that's a big move. Wow, I wasn't even looking and we all hit in a 307 pretty quick. $2 above our level. Let's see if we can get to 305 pretty quickly here. Or they're going to front run me right above 305. I think the next candle up, we should get, we should flush down, unless this is it right here. We'll flush down here. And then we'll get the next candle will be green. That's what I'm looking for. I think this is a little fake out. 307 being a little fake out is the bottom. I could be wrong though. Front running happens all the time, at least for my numbers. That's that's how I'm seeing it at least. I know 305 is important. I know 303 is important. That little zone right there is what we're looking for. Pretty close though, 307. You'd say, why not just take it at 307? I'm, I might consider it, depending on how this starts to play out. But right now it still looks really bearish. And if my numbers are wrong, by the way, I haven't mentioned this, if 305 and 303 are wrong, then, you know, I could see it spiking 300, and then we're just having a whole new conversation all the way down to 280, 282, somewhere in that in that zone. But I would dump it really quick if I started to see it lose footing at 303, 305, that zone. If, that, if we don't get a good reaction off that zone, then forget about it. Just like we talked about here, we didn't have a good reaction at 320. If this was the bottom, you would have seen more of a reaction. Let's check the headlines just to see if there's anything going on. Conference calls to begin at 5. Wow, that's right in conjunction with the time I was just talking about. I had no idea. I just looked down at the phone. This came out at 4.48 p.m. And I was saying I think at 5 o'clock it'll turn. So that's a good excuse for it to turn, guys, at that time. Anything they say that's positive that would be bullish, the call would be the catalyst. Now look at us going lower. 307 wasn't it. Here we go. 306.58 and going lower. 306.45. Actually, it's, what's funny now is 305 is not feeling as strong anymore. It's like the same thing with uh, 320 and 325. it's I, I will really want to see it spike through, so I'm, I'm starting to more and more think 303 is the number. Still headed lower. No sign of support in sight just yet. We're looking for a bounce down here and a move back up in the next five or 10 minutes. 455 East right now. Let's look at a one minute, get a better view of that. Still going lower. By the way, look back here. We talked about this being resistance, and it continued to be resistance. It got rejected up here. We talked about that earlier in the video. Rejected here, too. Waiting for this to break any second now. Just has to. You need that downward momentum to get the buyers. And once you get the buyers, you'll get the short sellers start covering. You'll get FOMO buying. I mean, it's hard to say that after hours what it is, what's, what's driving it. But that's just kind of my interpretation of it. Starting to pull away a little bit here. Starting to pick up volume too. If we start to get above 309, 31050, that area, then 306.45 could be it. It doesn't 
seem like it's it. It doesn't feel like it's it. It would normally be it. I said 309.25. We're at 309 on the button right now and getting rejected. Let's look at the one minute again, see if we can learn anything from that chart. There's the 20 again. That's a 311, though. Still a lot of heavy resistance here. That was definitely a little fake out there. 307, 30695. It's going to go lower again here, right into 5 o'clock, right into the call, and right into my time zone. See if we get that last minute flush here. Closing below 309.25 is definitely bearish on this candle. All right, let's see if we get on this candle here. Let's see if we get that quick flush down. This looks like the moment of truth right here. Again, this is such a slow grind here, but it looks like we're about to make a new low. So close, 306.80 is the low so far. We're at 307. Here it goes. We're looking for it to speed up and flush down to 303, 305, 306.10. There it goes. One more flush. Unless the unless the stock has a lower price in mind than my zone. Again, 305 is not as attractive right now, but we'll still take it. I mean, 306 at this point, really, it's not much of a difference for a stock that's priced this high. I don't like where this is going, but right now we're, we're, we're running on time, as we've talked about throughout this video. We, we're looking for a turn around between 5 and 510 Eastern. We're looking for the low between 303 and 305. Pretty close, but we need more volume. Let's read this silly headline real quick while we're waiting. This is at 5.03 p.m. What's going on with Zoom video shares Monday afternoon? Shares of Zoom video communications traded lower Monday afternoon following better than expected second quarter results. But third quarter earnings guidance that might have dis I love how it says might have disappointed investors because nobody understands why it's going down. The company reported quarterly adjusted earnings of, of $1.36 per share. The figure beat the analyst consensus estimate of $1.16 a share. That is really strong. Sales totaled $1.02 billion, better than the $991 million estimate expected by analysts. Sales were up about 54% on a year-over-year -year basis. If you saw those headlines, let's put it this way, if you saw those headlines before the market closed, you would probably load up on Zoom, thinking it's going to 400 without even question. So it's going to be interesting to see how they, uh, how they spin this. All right, five minutes to go until I'm expecting the turn, but again... This really slow movement is not good for the, the case that I'm laying out here. And this just might trail off into nothing. If there's no catalyst from the call, if there's no headline that saves this, some kind of spark, some sort of catalyst in general, then we'll probably just trail off and we'll just hang out in this zone right here. And nothing will happen until tomorrow. But if we do some see a volume pickup and we see something, some sort of um, information that the market likes, and we could see a lot more activity happening here for the next, say, hour or so. Yeah, if we don't see a volume pick up, here we go. In the next, like, few minutes here, this could really fade into nothing. We really need to see some volume on this candle. That's what I was expecting and hoping for. Look at that. That's interesting. We're starting, we're trying to breach the 20 period on the one minute chart. So it's really trying to, to make a move here. 307.92. We're just below that. So. 308 is going to be important here. 309, somewhere in that zone, is going to be important for any type of turn here. We have a couple minutes left. The bulls are going to want to see a close here of like 308.25 at least, maybe 308.50. I still can't believe this hasn't flushed lower, and the volume is just not there. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Now it's interesting. We have, we've got a green candle. We just don't have the volume. It's a very weak right now. Very weak um, move here. We're above the 20 on the one-minute chart. This could be a spark. We like this candle, but we don't love it. We need more volume, just not enough volume. So that was an interesting close right there. We talked about wanting to close about 308.25. It closed at 308.24. So now this next candle needs a stair step above 309 to have a chance, and then say up above, above uh, 310.50, which was what we talked about you know, earlier in the video. And again, I'm kind of a broken record here, but what you can expect if we do get a move up, they're going to come out with a headline that says something about how they liked what they said at the conference, or maybe there's some new numbers, or they looked at the numbers a new way. Something that they're going to explain to explain why a stock goes down, you know, $50, $50 a share and then starts to recover. 
maybe this is in a little holding pattern because of the conference call and we're just not seeing that volume and maybe we'll uh, we'll start to creep up and see that volume and we'll get that spike but if they take the news the wrong way or they perceive the uh, call as negative in any type of way then we'll just this will all be a fake recovery here all right so notice we're fighting the 310 50 area here at I uh, stop recording for a little bit just to watch this play out and it's really important to finish above 310.40 here we're at 310.20 we got rejected at 310.80 again it's still really slow not a lot of volume I'm, I'm waiting for some sort of catalyst here because the chart is doing what we thought it would do it's just going really really slow about it which doesn't always give me the confidence here 310.30 it's interesting 310.40 here we go but we'd like to see more volume now you can see we're getting rejected here at the one minute chart on the 50 period. We haven't closed above that yet. 310.51. That's funny that that's the number. That's the number we already identified and that happens to be resistance here on the chart right now. 310.51. 310.34. It's a fight. Pennies mean so much, guys. Pennies mean so much. Pretty interesting how it failed. Not the move you want to see here. Again, not enough volume. We close at 309.50. Not, not bad, but definitely not giving us an indication that this is going to head much higher or higher at all this is interesting the low on this candle here 308.13 we ran a test down at 308.15 had a nice little bounce there so you need some more momentum going off this candle here too we need to continue with another green candle right here it'll be nice for the bulls let's see what that one minute chart's doing came right back down to the 20 got rejected by the 50 these are going to start to converge soon so that'll be the moment of truth, whether we get rejected up here again or if we break out. So we got to get back up to 309 once again, 310, 310, Back above 310, that's going to be important too. Wow, back above the 50, just like that. We closed at 310.03, excuse me, 310.07, and it was 310.03, and then now our support would be about 310 again. Wow, if anything, this has just been fascinating, though. Um, we're almost at 311. Let's see if we get above. If we hold a 311 here, we could see a nice, nice move. Let's see if that is in conjunction with the call here. I still haven't seen any updates on the headlines since 503. That was 21 minutes ago. So we got nothing to work off of except the chart right now. Not that I ever used the news. I mean, from the beginning of the video, I told you I didn't use the news. And... I think I would have fought this if I was using the news and I saw that great report. I would have fought all this and I would have been more confident in these lines if I was paying attention to fundamentals. But I'm paying attention to the price, movement, the charts, the important numbers. And so far, you, you've been inside my head here this whole time. This is all real time. We'll probably find resistance around 313, 314. But anything can happen if we start to get some sort of good news, some catalyst, some buying, panic buying, you know, covering shorts. That could create more momentum, it could create more volume, and we could really start to have that reversal that we've, we've been actually, it's happening right now. It's just not happening the way I envisioned it or the way I was anticipating it. I mean, think if you're shorting this, you're not enjoying this grind right now. Just like when you were, if you're long, you're panicking when this just keeps dropping, dropping, dropping. That's the falling knife. So if this closes here above the high of this candle, we're going to see another spark. It's a big if. There's still three minutes left on the clock. Let's see what happens. I mean, another possibility is you run up to 314, 315, get rejected. First things first, though, let's let's get above 310.80 here, 311. That's going to be the challenge we have here. So we're stair-stepping right now. And we took the elevator down, the express elevator down, and we're taking the uh, broken escalator up. Got that weird feeling walking up the broken escalator because it's just not, you're just not moving as swiftly as you feel like you should. So... We're not out of the woods yet. One minute to go. If we can close above 310.80, that's going to be strong. It's not perfect. I do like that the volume here is a little bit... Actually, it's already more than this candle. That's a good sign. To pick up momentum, to pick up volume this late is a good sign. All right, so 310.99, not bad. That that did the job. 310.80 was the high. It's still not looking that strong. All right, you can see it came down into our zone. It found support, but again, we talked about how weak this recovery was, and it really was weak. And then we closed here at 306.39. So we haven't closed below 306.10 yet, which was the pivot low. So it's really tricky right now. 
This is looking really bad, though, obviously. There hasn't been any type of information about this. We did talk about the importance of 305, and I'd say that this pretty much shows that it is important. Again, I would have liked a better reaction off that number, and we talked about that back here, that it may not be as important. When we didn't spike through, we didn't have a lot of volume. After hours is so tough, but it's good to know that we're kind of in the zone right now, and 305 is the line in the sand. Or really 306.10 at this point is the line in the sand. The only new headline I see, I'm not sure, maybe the call is starting late, is uh, the headline Zoom video logs first billion dollar quarter, which is amazing. But the stock is still falling. That's at 5.45 p.m. I'm just going through this uh, little headline here, and I'm just reading the most ridiculous paragraph I've ever seen. While most companies would be ecstatic with sales growth of 54%, that is actually the smallest year-over-year -year growth in revenue for Zoom in its recorded history, according to FactSet, which tracks its revenue growth back to April 2018, a year before the company's initial public offering. The previous low is 77.9% in the quarter ended January 2020, just before the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic washed over the world. I mean, when you grow exponentially like Zoom has, the amount of sales growth is going to go get lower. You're not just going to keep doubling, going 100% every year. So 54%, calling it the smallest year over year, is so is so out of context of how strong of a quarter that really was. It's, there's just no catalyst right now. There's tapering volume. Yeah, so skipping ahead, you can see how important this 305 really was. It's pretty amazing, actually. We hit 305.20, and we just faded away the rest of the uh, the rest of the time after hours. The low is 304.47, but we still came back to 305 anyway, and we closed at 305.05. It's pretty remarkable considering where we came from and when we identified how important 305 was kind of on the fly, and it actually happened here. It came down at 305.20. This is a nice little fake out right here, big time fake out. We did, talked about how we didn't have the volume. This didn't look like a strong close either, so it was a big fake out for me. And then you got this huge move down right here, and that was the end of it. Really tough to come out of a uh, harsh bear flag like this. Now tomorrow, the way it's going to open up is going to be really interesting. I think 305 is going to be that area to watch again. Of course, if they open up below 305, that's going to be trouble for the bulls, and we'll probably start to head towards 280 area, you know, below 300. But if uh, 305 holds and we see a nice bounce, maybe overnight, early in the morning, that could set things up for a, a pretty decent recovery in the morning and maybe some good trading opportunities on Zoom. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I really appreciate you watching. And remember, don't let the trade control you.